Hey everybody. In the past I've made quite a few videos talking about how YouTube is so slow in terms of buffering videos. I'd often call it slow tube in some videos. Well I made a very um, crazy discovery tonight about that. It's not necessarily YouTube's fault. It's Time Warner Cable's fault. Because Time Warner Cable has decided to throttle YouTube bandwidth and I think it's been like this for quite a while so YouTube has certain video servers for Time Warner that throttle the speed to a lower amount I guess that's Time Warner Cable's way of trying to manage bandwidth on the network so in <laughs> as, as an end result you get slow tube instead of YouTube but I figured out a nice little way to fix that after looking out at some articles online you can use Windows Firewall. This is a feature built into Windows XP and newer versions of Windows and probably Windows NT but I'm pretty sure not that many people are using that anymore. It's just Windows XP and newer on. They have Windows Firewall. Now I'm going to show you how to do this how to configure this in the Windows 7 Firewall. First I'm going to do is I'm going to play a YouTube video. This is on Bike Geek MTDX, my other channel. Just play a basic random YouTube video. I'll do the Purple Martins. This video down here. I got this running Google Chrome because sometimes Firefox can, can lag too. I know Google Chrome is a good fast browser, so we're using Chrome for this test. Let's, let's watch it buffer. It's not terribly slow right now. It's actually moving pretty fast. But then it stops. Oftentimes it'll move just a little bit and then stop. And then you have to wait for it. Of course, on writes this video because it's on my other YouTube channel. Anyways, this is a video of Purple Martins. On the Purple Martin house next to the backyard. As you can see, here's how far we've gotten in terms of loading the video. It's actually moving pretty fast and I'm kind of surprised. But I'm going to apply these changes to the Windows Firewall. What I'm going to do is I'm going to access my um, file that has the IP addresses that I had to add into the firewall. This is not part of the step, I'm mean, part of the procedure. This is just me accessing a file. And of course, this applies if you have Time Warner Cable, or also known as Roadrunner, or just Time Warner Internet. Here's the file. Here are the two IP addresses. The first one is 173.194.55.0 slash 24. The second one is 206.111.0.0 slash 16. Now to access the Windows firewall, you go to your control panel. And yes, when this firewall is down here, but I'm going to go to the administrative tools. And then double click on Windows Firewall with advanced security. And this will pull up the firewall. Click on inbound rules, that's in the upper left corner of the video. And it's a new rule. Click down here for custom. Say all programs. Click next, which is down here.
leave this by default settings any protocol type click next leave this set to any but down here where it says which remote IP address should this rule apply to you will change the radio button to this and click on the add button now you can add the IP addresses in like so let's say you um, want to get my, my description just copy this amount and then paste it in click OK and let's repeat this for the second one you click add Let me go ahead and do the same thing for a second one. Copy that and paste it in. Click OK. And now you click Next. Select Block the Connection. What's going to happen is when YouTube tries to use this connection it's not going to work so YouTube will have to resort back to its default connection that it uses for videos which is the one that's not throttled from what I've heard online click next click next again because you want to supply to domains private networks and public networks and give it a name such as YouTube fix. And um, just so you know, like I mentioned, it's just for Time Warner Cable, from what I understand. Time Warner Cable Internet. Click Finish. Now this rule is applied. Have a look here, you can see where it says. YouTube fix and there's a um, block symbol next to that. Now obviously I don't think you have to restart the computer, but I'm gonna restart the computer anyway just to see how it does. Cause I did this on Mid Tower Lux and I did see somewhat improvement. But I'm gonna go ahead and restart just to make sure. Besides, this thing needs to be restarted anyway so AVG can update its antivirus definition. Let's see how fast this machine restarts. This is my Inspiron 1525. It's not stock. It's um, got a Core 2 Duo processor, 4 gigs of G Skill DDR2 memory, 9 cell replacement battery, DVD burner. I have another computer, and a 500 gig Seagate solid state hybrid drive. So it's a hard drive with 4 gigabytes of solid state memory in it that the hard drive uses accordingly to try to boost performance. This is Windows 7 Professional, 64 bit. And of course, hasn't been restored in a while. Usually the throughput is like 100 megawatts per second from this drive. Which is definitely an improvement over the drive that was in the machine. Now I have Chrome set to return to where I was at in terms of the web page. So let's go ahead and hit restore because I shut down the computer without closing out Chrome blah 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 see if we get a difference here I am seeing a difference. The 
can expand this a little bit. Not the biggest difference in the world, but I am seeing a difference. Definitely not having any buffering issues tonight. But from what I've read online, this actually does work. Let me try another video. Awesome. The Bike Geek MPDX channel. And of course, YouTube wanted everybody to switch over to its one channel design, so I finally switched Bike Geek MTDX over. So let's find a video. For example, let's do this video. outside the Levine IT building at Central Piedmont Community College. I figured I'd going to do a retake on that previous elevator video I uploaded. Because this time I actually have an intention of filming the elevators. Let's go inside. Took a little bit, but there it goes. Acting strange, actually. You'll see the buffer go up to right here, then it just loses track of where it was. These are fast. This one. Though I'm not seeing issues where the video is getting stopped for buffering. So it really just depends, um, I guess, on the time of day. This is the Otis Traction Elevator in the Levine Technology Building at CPCC, where I go to school at. This time we'll go over, I guess we'll go to Cube Computer Channel. Let's choose a video to go with. Try to find a um, short video. Here we go. See how this works out. This is a three minute plus video. to the sounds of a failing hard drive on a laptop. This laptop was That's how far progress has went. The screen, the original screen in was busted all to pieces. Definitely made some progress. Every time you drop a laptop like this that has a hard drive better than a solid. We didn't pause the video. I have to say it is working better. Let me try another Bike Geek MGDX video. Here's a very aggravating load more button, which there is a fix for that. I do I do have a video online about that. Here's a two minute six second video. I'm gonna open this in a new tab.
We don't like too much from finished buffer in this video. I got the mouse cursor where it's currently at so that we can see it better. Here's a crazy parrot Ahab making weird noises with the cage. So I definitely have to say we've made some progress. Because I know the past few days YouTube has been very slow. Also known as slow tube. Anyways, that's how you can actually improve the performance of YouTube if you're on Time Warner Cable's internet. So just follow the instructions exactly as I did them because you don't want to mess anything up in Windows Firewall. So if you're um, having any questions, feel free to just, like I say, just, if you're still confused or trying to figure it out, replay the video a few times to carefully look over the steps and apply them like, just like I did. And you should be good to go. So anyways, any questions or comments? Feel free to ask and thanks for watching.